Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo with Classic Game Room and today we are going to take a look at Deadliest Warrior, the game from the Xbox Live Arcade. Based on the hit TV series, this standard fighting game takes seven warriors from the first season and the Roman Centurion from the second season and gives you a chance to have a say in the answer to the question who is deadliest? Each character has three basic weapons that they can carry with them, but can only wield one at a time. Each warrior also has an armor set that determines movement speed as well as an overall defense. The weapons usually consist of one short range weapon, one long range weapon, and one projectile weapon. Some characters also have shields, but are usually weighed down or hindered by them in exchange for the added defense. The greatest thing about Deadliest Warrior as a fighting game is the chance for the lucky shot. Although in the show they run countless simulations in order to try to weed out random flukes, in this fighting game, the fluke could be your best friend. One hit knockouts, although difficult and rare to pull off, are extremely rewarding if you do. Whether the arrow from the knight's crossbow pierces a skull, or the dual spear throw of the viking impales someone, these random moments make the battles all the more tense as a fight is truly never over till it's over due to this. Along with this, there are also special maneuvers that can be conducted when your opponent is in the critical stage. If you should hit with these unblockable maneuvers, you'll transfer to a cutscene where you will have a particularly gruesome execution of your opponent. Whether it's a samurai's skillful beheading, or the knight's simple clubbing with his ball and chain, either way, pulling off these special executions are an added reward for a hard-won match. On top of all these special maneuvers, each character only has a limited number of projectiles in order to prevent someone from turning this fighter into a shooter, but the projectiles could easily turn the tide of battle as well, even aside from the one-hit knockout, as projectiles dipped in poison could wither an opponent's life bar into dust. You see this come into effect with the Apache and the Ninja. As for the fighting gameplay, since the game is going for the same realistic feel as the show, many of the battles are fast if you don't demonstrate proper defense or dodging, as a slash to the gut with a dagger or a shot to the face with a blunderbuss could take a huge chunk of your life bar away almost instantly. Not to mention certain blows could actually cleave body parts off of your opponent and they could just as easily bleed to death. The graphics are a little subpar compared to what we may be typically used to, but works well enough especially as body parts begin to be strewn about and the dead bodies fall instantly limp. The audio though was easily the weakest part of the peripherals and was probably one of the most disappointing aspects of the game. Although the sound effects and music work well enough, there is almost no voice acting or commentary. I would have loved to have had the show narrator Drew Skye introduce the fighters, or at least the host of the show, Jeff DeMoulin, Max Geiger and Dr. Dorian provide match commentary or maybe talk about the characters and their weapons on the select screen to help flesh out the background of each one. Without this, the game just feels like it's missing that last bit of polish to put it into a special realm. When it comes to replay value, the game is a lot of fun, with both offline and online versus modes and a challenge mode to see how many characters you can take out with one health bar there is plenty to bring you back for more beyond the standard arcade mode. It would have been nice to have more arenas and characters to play with as well, but Spike has promised us DLC in the future to flesh out the roster as there are more and more seasons of the actual show to inspire DLC for the game. So it's only a matter of time before the 8 character roster fills up considerably. If you're a fan of the show Deadliest Warrior on Spike TV, then this game is a must have for you hands down. When all is said and done, considering Deadliest Warrior the game is a downloadable title, it's a pretty high-end one, and it's definitely worth the full 1,000 Microsoft points, especially with the promise of added DLC in the future if you are a fan of fighting games and huge rosters. Shizu! <laughs>